I'm sure if you're watching this, you have a burning desire to be successful. And I feel the same way and I've always felt the same way. And you've probably done the same thing where you study successful people, whether it's billionaires, millionaires, people that have built a product that you are obsessed with, whether it's, you know, the Liquid Death founder, you know, Michael Rubin. Regardless of who your favorite billionaires and successful people are, we all are looking for information on how we can apply that to our lives. In my position now, I have friends that are very successful. I've been around very successful people, billionaires, multimillionaires. And there's a few things that I've noticed that they do that I've tried to incorporate in my life. And I, of course, try to emulate them and you know take the information that they provided and apply it to my life. And here's the top five, 10 things maybe, if I can squeeze them all in, that I've learned that I'm willing to give to you because I think it could just help everybody. The first thing is that you need to have a morning routine. I think the first thing you need to do is wake up, have a quick coffee, whatever you need to do. If you don't drink coffee, fine, get to the gym. Get to the gym. The, going to the gym should be the first thing you do just to get it out of the way. Whether it's hard for you or it's easy for you, you need to get it out of the way just so you can feel better. If I don't go to the gym in the morning, I feel like I can't operate as a human. My brain is not clear. Get on the treadmill for a bit, write down what you need to get done for the day, look through the social media, see what's going on in the world, understand where your product is, whatever your business is. Just take those few minutes, whether you're on the treadmill, whatever it is, and just you know scope out your day, basically. The second thing is, you know, once you get home from that, you need to be writing down your goals for your life, your life goals, whether they're small goals, big goals, wherever you want your business to be, and also write down everything you're grateful for. I write this down every single morning. I have journals for years. I've written down my goals every single day and then on the back of the page write exactly what I'm grateful for and the next page is my to-do list for the day and you write down everything you need to do draw a little checkbox check that off throughout the day once you get that thing done and it just feels so fulfilling to check something off the list and know you've done it and know you're accomplishing something throughout your day the other things that I've learned took me a very long time to learn and understand these because it's kind of hard to apply and you need to get to a specific level in your life to be able to even apply these things for example when you go out and you party with your friends you should not look at it as your letting loose and you're just blowing off steam and you're just drinking to have a great time. These successful people that I've encountered, other than when they're with their friends, they're going out to network, meet people, have great conversation and spend time with people that they actually love to be with. You don't have to go to parties or raves with people that you have no idea who they even are and spend time with people that you don't want to spend time with. I feel like the most successful people choose who they want to spend time with and they're actually able to. You only have a limited amount of time. Time is your greatest asset. Spend that time with the people that you love, the people that actually love you and that you can have amazing conversations conversation with and have some laughs. You need to invest your time into the meaningful relationships, whether it's your best friends, your, your very close circle, your family, your brothers, your sisters, whatever it is, spend time with great people and build those relationships. They are extremely important. One thing I heard from a very successful person was look at things when you're missing out on something, whether it's an event or a party or whatever it is. Don't look at it as FOMO, the fear of missing out. Look at it as JOMO, the joy of missing out. Realize why you're missing that event and what you're doing for yourself instead. What are you benefiting by taking care of yourself, working on your business, doing things for yourself, spending time with your spouse, as opposed to going to this party where, you know, you might not have the, the best time. There's JOMO in a lot of aspects of life. The joy of missing out can lead to a lot more things. A huge thing that also took me so long to realize, really prioritize is sleep. I never took sleep serious. I always thought, oh, I can operate off four hours, five hours of sleep, six hours if I'm lucky, because I just wanted to keep living and having such an amazing time. And, you know, I wake up with adrenaline, just trying to get work done and just trying to keep, you know, crushing the day. But then I started to like have, I don't know if it was memory loss, but I was just not as sharp as I was. So I learned how to prioritize sleep. I have an aura ring. I'm not wearing it right now. I wear the aura ring. My friends wear the whoop. They all compete with each other on the app. But sleep is extremely important. If I don't get seven hours, I feel like I can't even memorize things. I'm, I'm definitely a little slow. I definitely wake up after a few coffees, but seven hours, eight hours, I think you need to be getting sleep. Prioritize it. Get an aura ring or a whoop. Understand how much you're sleeping and then optimize it a little bit. You know, sleep a little bit more. I initially thought, if I get the aura ring, it's just gonna tell me that I'm tired. And that is true, but then you realize that, okay, wow, so at seven and a half hours, I feel amazing. Eight hours, I feel a little bit overslept. Whatever it is, everybody's different. Prioritize your sleep sleep enough and prioritize your health. Starting something new and becoming great at something new is very difficult to do. Whether you're amazing at your business or amazing at something like specific, whether it's running, you know, triathlons, marathons, whatever it is, start something new and challenge yourself. You always need to be challenging yourself. Aside from it being extremely fulfilling, it's just pushing yourself, pushing your brain, pushing yourself physically. For example, I started playing tennis just to push myself and learn something completely new. I've never played tennis before in my life. I started taking lessons, learning how to play tennis, and it's just amazing. And 
and it's so much fun to play with friends. I've actually been lacking on that, but playing tennis is an amazing way to, you know, spend time with friends, stay active, and it just pushes your brain to just learn more things. I'm also trying to learn Spanish, and I've been learning for a year right now, just because I want to become fluent in another language. I think it's amazing for my brain health. I just want to push myself, and I think you can definitely apply the same things, whether it's Spanish, a different language, you know, tennis, golf, anything. If you become great or even good at something new, you just feel so much more fulfilled, and you're pushing yourself. You're spending time on yourself. You're improving constantly, and it's just an amazing feeling. Traveling should also become a priority, whether it's, you know, going to the, a few towns over, traveling to a different city that's very close, or going to Europe, or whatever the travel range may be, you should travel, you should have those experiences. You can definitely do it on a budget. It's not a big deal. You don't need to spend crazy amounts of money. You can just go to different places. And the, the biggest thing that I realized that successful people do, when they're traveling and you always see people posting on the yachts or the jets or whatever, they're in a different city uh, You know, in Europe, they're still working. All that Insta does and those stories do is capture a split second in time and you basically assume everything else outside of that picture. For example, if someone posts and they're at you know a crazy lunch, I'm sure they're working either on their phone at the lunch or before or after, or it could just be a meeting. You never know. If I'm posting, if I'm traveling, I still have to work. If I'm in a different time zone, I have to adjust and work on LA hours so I can still get work done. Every traveling experience is never a vacation. Vacations don't seem to exist when you're building a business. You can still travel and enjoy the time, spend time with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever it is, and your friends, but you need to prioritize your work, right? So your work, you have to look at your work is the vehicle that got you to travel, right? So if I'm going to Europe for the summer, I have to realize that my work, basically I worked hard enough to then be able to travel to Europe. I cannot neglect my work because I'm in Europe. I still have to work for the next trip or just I can't neglect my business. It's just, it's my baby. I have to keep working on it. You can take an hour or two to you know enjoy the time, spend time with friends, but when you're traveling, it is not a vacation. You can't just turn things off because you're in a different location. So the most successful people seem, from what I've seen and what I've experienced, is that when they're traveling, they're still working. They're still on their phone. They have to set different hours and set different activities where they can specifically set time and, and hang out with their friends, their family, because the other time they still are working. Everyone was always saying, in order to be successful, you need to wake up at 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., you need to be up before everybody else, you need to go to sleep late, wake up early, and just you know grind like extremely hard. And I think that's very hard to believe because I don't think that's the Sustainable. If you go to sleep at 11 and you wake up at 7 or 8, I think you'll do great. I think you'll be just fine. Those few hours, those those hours in between when you're actually able to sleep, you know, I think 11 to 7 is still great. You don't need to wake up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m. You're not Mark Wahlberg. You're not, even Elon says, I think he wakes up at 8 or maybe 9. He's probably going to sleep very late. But still, you don't have to wake up at insane hours to be productive. You can still wake up at 7 or 8 and have an, an amazing day and have an amazing productive day and go to sleep at a reasonable time. You don't have to be stressing yourself out and, and working around the clock and pulling all-nighters to be successful. You can build an amazing business if you still sleep at 11 or even 12 and then wake up at 7 o'clock. A lot of the time I'm still waking up at, you know, I go to sleep at 11, try to wake up at 7, sometimes at 6, 6.30 and it kind of ranges, but you should definitely go to sleep, you know, at a reasonable time and wake up at a time that you feel works for you. You don't have to just push yourself and wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. There's absolutely no reason for it. You're not training for anything and your sleep, like I said before, is very important. Another thing that I think really grounds successful people and it definitely helps me is that you should call your family I call my family very often you know my best friends I talk to you know close in my life very often I tell them what's going on and regardless if they're in my business or my circle or whatever it is it feels amazing to talk to your family call them all the time call them once in a while call them at least once a week I, I sometimes I call them once a day just to tell them what's going on they just want to hear your voice they just want to talk it feels amazing to just you know have that family connection in your life the, the family is very important to every successful person I've ever met. They prioritize it fully. They try to have family dinners constantly. And it's something that I truly value. When I have a family, I wanna have family dinners very often. I think it's very important. I think calling your family is important, telling them what's going on. They only wanna support you. They only wanna be positive. And spend you know, an hour of your day or even just 20 minutes of your day calling your family, making the rounds. Your, your mom, dad, brother, sister, whatever it is, just you know, a few minutes on the phone saying how's it going, checking in on them, goes a long way for you know your mental health and also just for your fulfillment. And it feels amazing. Other than a lot of these tips, I think managing time is the biggest thing that can really help you. Time is the biggest asset. No one wastes time anymore. At the beginning of your business journey, you know, you could probably be surfing the web, doing a lot of research. You know, you're probably scrolling a little bit. Once you're busy and you've built a business and you're building a business and it's growing, you're, you're experiencing growth and you know, you're being very productive. You need to really learn how to manage your time because if you're scrolling for a little bit on any app, 
a few hours of a day can be absolutely gone very quickly. And that just eats up at your day, your week. I mean, if you don't spend those few hours, you know, scrolling or just being unproductive, you're going to have so much more time in the day. Time is the biggest asset. It's very hard to learn that. You only learn that as you get older, as you grow older. And I've learned that now. I'm 28 now. It took me years to learn that I need to prioritize sleep, manage my time properly, write everything down because you can't physically remember everything possible. You need to write everything down. I thought I could memorize everything, remember all my tasks, and then I started to forget things. I don't know if it was a lack of sleep or because I wasn't writing anything down, but now I do both and I'm just much more productive. These are the things that I've learned from a lot of successful people in my life. They fully changed how I operate on a day-to-day -day basis. Gym in the morning, writing down my goals, you know, spending time with friends and people that I love, you know, connecting with everybody, having amazing conversations, sharing laughs, calling my family, everything else that I mentioned. It should definitely help you. I really hope this helps and I'm going to keep making more videos about business, I guess now life and marketing. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it.